Vietnam and Cambodia are close neighbors with an enduring tradition of cooperation and mutual assistance. The friendship and comprehensive cooperation between the two countries have been continuously consolidated, with marked achievements being met in economic, trade and investment relations. Along with the five political ties between two countries, Vietnam's economic presence in Cambodia has contributed greatly to its development. The presence is shown most obviously in investment, trade and tourism, with investment being considered a spearhead. Smartphone is the brand name of Vietnam Cambodia, a subsidiary of Vietnam's military-run telecommunications group Vietnam. Since its establishment in 2009, Smartphone has become a top telecom operator in the country. We have received strong support from the governments of Cambodia and Vietnam and local people. Previously, Cambodia people had to pay more for the service. When Metphone operates in Cambodia, local people welcome it warmly. Vietnamese enterprises in Cambodia focus their investments on their faults which also have great potentials to develop in Cambodia, namely agriculture, telecommunications and finance banking. We determined long-term and stable business in Cambodia to help boost the Vietnam-Cambodia economic links in line with the two government's policies. We would like to continue to receive support from the two governments and to operate in a stable and favorable investment environment and under a more perfect legal framework. The Council for the Development of Cambodia reported Vietnam has so far carried out nearly 200 projects valued at about $3 billion in Cambodia, making it among the top five foreign investors in the country. South China Sophia, Cambodian minister attached to the Prime Minister and Secretary General of the Council, said Vietnamese enterprises have made marked contributions to Cambodia's economic development, poverty reduction, social security, employment, and charity works. <laughs> We can say for sure that telecommunications services supplied by the Vietnamese company have contributed to Cambodia's socio-economic development. Added to this, Vietnamese investors in rubber tree planting have built infrastructure and improved health care and education services for local people. Despite favorable conditions, there remain difficulties striking Vietnamese enterprises, business and production. As a foreign bank in Cambodia, we face challenges relating to legal system, cultural differences and language. Though there are many Vietnamese businesses in Cambodia, the connection among them is not good enough. The government should play a vital role in connecting Vietnamese businesses in Cambodia. We also hope the Cambodian government will offer a better legal framework for us to further develop. According to the Association of Vietnamese Investors in Cambodia, Vietnamese invested enterprises have always strictly adhered to the host country's guidelines, and they have received warm welcome from local governments. However, the association calls on Cambodia to further improve its investment policies to better support Vietnamese investors. 
The two sides should step up negotiations for bilateral agreements on trade, customs, and deportation avoidance. The association proposes that the Vietnamese government work with its Cambodian counterpart to make a revision protocol on the investment promotion and protection agreement between Vietnam and Cambodia come into force soon so as to protect Vietnamese people and their properties in Cambodia. The two governments set a target of $5 billion in foreign direct investment from Vietnam to Cambodia by 2020. To realize the target, the Association of Vietnamese Investors in Cambodia recommends both sides to effectively carry out the side agreements. The association also calls on Cambodia to facilitate Vietnamese enterprises' efforts in getting into the target market to boost economic ties and promote the friendship and comprehensive cooperation between the two countries.